Hello to all my friends out there. Well, I got a parking place in the shade. It's so much better. Um, I'm eating donuts in my car. I bought these crumb donuts marked down yesterday at Walmart. I got the marked down just as he was bringing them out. I like to eat donuts every morning. <laughs> Okay, so now at night I'm watching food haul videos. You know, what people get at pantries and food banks and it's really helpful. I figure it will help me with my stockpile and it is. And so I was looking at that food that they were getting and it was pretty decent. Fresh vegetables, that is good. Uh, meat. Um, they were given five fresh potatoes and bags of potatoes, so I would say the thing we want to do is make sure we don't run out of potatoes. Um, canned food, soup, canned meals, things like that. Anyway, so they reminded me of years ago, I used to get share food and you could buy it for $30 a box. You know, I think it was, well, a portion. And so the food bank reminds me of the share food and the share food, but it's a little different because now the food banks get the nearly expired food, the nearly best buy food from the, the stores. So I don't think the, sh the share foods were more like commodity type foods, you know, like government food and they're still getting that. And that is very helpful to see what they get. So um, the share food was $30 and it was once a month. So it was about $1 food per day. So I thought, well, that's something worth thinking about. Um, so what I'm thinking about is the quality of the food. So if we make our food, we know what's in it. So I'm looking in and I noticed now at the uh, banks, they're giving big bags of nuts. And uh, actually peanut butter and nut butter is pretty easy to make. Um, with almonds, you boil them until you can remove that um, outer skin, which is a bit of a pain. And then you just put them in a fruit uh, processor or a blender and, and blend them like 15 minutes. I assume peanuts would be the same way. So what I think would be well worth learning is nut butter, cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, buttermilk. Buttermilk is easy. You just add um, vinegar to your milk. I usually add, I buy good vinegar, one tablespoon per, per cup of milk and you have buttermilk. Bread, butter, butter is very easy. You just, you know, blend your cream in the uh, blender or food processor, processor. So those are some things I will be making. Okay, so now to evaluate, we're going from 2020 to 2030, I would say it's going to be a depressive decade. Uh, most wars, this is a trade war, most wars are 10 years. So we're looking at a 10 year cycle and we're saying, okay, what can I do to make sure that I survive best possible this cycle? So um, I last night I was working on my front yard that that little front yard is I was out there for quite a while I'm just trying to get a cute muffin top it, it was anything but cute but it's it's still not quite a cute muffin top but it's coming so my um Instagram here's my I'll give you a sh here's my Instagram you can take it's all one word And if you want to go to my Twitter, it's uh, just go Rhoda Stone Twitter and it should come right up. Some of the followers have said they couldn't find it. Okay, now I have 10 cheap meals that will get you by. Soup and Vienna sausages. It, and it's good if you have crackers or some bread. Lipton chicken soup and hamburger. But one of the followers... Uh, told me about that. You just fry and drain your hamburger and you make the Lipton soup that comes in the packages and add the hamburger. That is good.
fried egg and cheese on toast, peanut butter and apple, bean and cheese burrito, meat, potato, veggie scramble, or meat, rice, and veggie scramble, hot dogs and canned chili or pork, be pork and beans, Alfredo, the dollar packages, and tuna. That makes a good tuna casserole. Rice aroni and two of those hamburger patties from Dollar Tree, uh, beef or Spanish rice. California blend vegetables steam with lemon pepper, butter and cheese with hard boiled eggs. That's a good meal. 10 sausage and biscuits with cheese. I get the dollar packages and I take four and I flatten them like a hamburger and I fry them and then I put cheese in a biscuit. That is good. Bonus is sloppy joes. So here is the cheap meals if you want a screenshot. Oh. So today my entire job is enjoy life. Okay, so uh, now these are grocery stretchers. Crackers, dehydrated fruit, jam, or cooked fruit with your canned fruit. Vegetable soup, because then you, okay, so the idea of the dehydrated fruit is you won't run out of fruit. Uh, vegetable soup or mixed vegetables. So if you want to make vegetable soup out of your mixed vegetables, just add some bouillon cubes and some onions. Top ramen. So you have top ramen with lime and hot sauce, and that is good. And if you put an egg in it or some Vienna sausages, tea plant, that's really going to uh, stretch your budget. Potato chips and pretzels. Okay, today for my lunch, because if you just started following me, I pretty much live in my car intentionally every single day. Uh, but even though I'm in my car, I still want to enjoy life. So I have vegetable beef soup I bought at Walmart for 74 cents. This is a pretty substantial meal. And then I have pretzels that are like bread. So your potato chips are like storing, uh, get the real potato chips. I get the ones with ridges. If I had to survive on them, I buy them a dollar bag. Homemade lunch meat. I'm going to be making my own lunch meat. I'm going to buy some uh, meat marked down and I'm going to make some lunch meat. Biscuit and pancake mix, Velveeta cheese and pasta, and uh, storable milk. So these are really going to stretch your budget. Okay, you guys, I will see you later. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.